So, yeah, bro. I have another surprise for you. You serious? So we got Yabro yeah, versus Boss Modus. What'd you say? Oh. oh, God. I don't think that this is too exciting, but... Okay, well... Let's see. <laughs> it's like a celebrity in person. You get to comment your own game. So, but the thing is, the good thing is that after the replay versus R, which I uploaded, people don't know if I really won the game or not. They don't know if you won the game? No, but people don't know if I won the game or not. Because I also uploaded replays where I lost, so... Oh, okay. Oh, did you upload this? I uploaded this, I believe. Oh, I thought both of them were uploaded by people besides you. No. Oh. I uploaded very few replays. But um, that replay was when BF Cards was down for a very long time. And... Me and a couple other hiring players just we tried to make this site active again. Okay. And so I just posted. That's I posted this game with Aha and this game also, but yeah. As you can see, I'm have a pretty bad spot right now. Yeah. So you allowed Boss Modus <clears throat> to take this well up against you. Um, yeah. I recall in one of Far Rock's replays, he always advocated that both players should take this outside well. Um, and High Tech seemed to, to verify this by doing this in one of his replays. Uh, what is your opinion on taking the outside well? I guess you took it, but... I don't always take it, only when I feel like it. <laughs> right, that's how I feel. It's like, I'll take it when I feel like it, otherwise I won't. <laughs> yeah, it's just, well, today I feel pretty good, so maybe I take this well. No, it's just... Um, if you take this well, you have to be very confident in your tier 1 skills, because um, you force yourself to play very many open field battles, uh -huh. and so but you're playing, I wouldn't recommend you're, to... You're rushing tier 1 against a Frost Splash, which I wouldn't generally recommend. I always did that, because a Mortar Tower in, in the back, even though the Mortar Tower won't get up, he, it forces your opponent so much pressure put on the mortar tower oh, while you can up, just take out uh, the units. So it did get up, but even if it wouldn't get up, right? You know. Wow, it's impressive. I shall remember the strategy. Yeah, that works versus very many players, and at that time, I believe that boss mode was. was What's the rank uh, before Emperor? I don't know. I so, Sovereign, maybe? Patriarch? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, the four, four circles. Yeah. Alright. Um, and people always feel embarrassed when you upload their replays. So, the thing is, he didn't play too well, but mm. not because he's a very bad player, but because um, people like many Shadow Frost players, it's many people have that, but mostly Shadow Frost players, they, um, you can very easily force mistakes on them. Okay. So if you do, if you do stuff, they really don't know, which uh, many people don't rush with their tier one versus tier two or play very aggressive tier ones. Right. So, so they wanna, don't really know how to deal with that. I want to comment on this real fast. Your scavenger okay. ran away from his Lost Reaver. Um, I'm guessing you did that because you were afraid of the splash damage from a life weaving if he dropped one? Um, no, I believe because I saw that he uh, clicked attack on my... Uh, on my... Uh, scavenger. Oh, okay. Um, and then I ran away, but he instantly... Focused my well after, so. Oh, okay. I thought you were doing it to avoid some splash damage. And I was pretty lucky that he played a Reaver because when he played like um, a Dark Elf and Nightcrawler spam. Yeah, those are much harder to deal with. In my opinion. But, yeah. But many people just play Reavers. Reavers is 
unbelievably powerful in defense. Really, that's just, that's just ridiculous. When you play versus Hero and he uses a defensive lever, you will cry for two weeks. <laughs> but I don't believe that it's... It's also very strong in the late game offensive. That's ridiculous. So, uh -huh. but in an early game, I would never play a reaver because it's you won't find any times where it's really worth it to play a reaver. I mean, it's 120 power. It's an S counter, but you won't really use it as an S counter. Right. But more of a reaver is a nasty unit, and that's the whole purpose. Right. Do you remember back before Nasty got nerfed and it would just do like however much damage? I don't know. What was nerfed on... What did they nerf? I know they nerfed like a whole bunch of Lost Souls things at once. Yeah, what I know, they nerfed the Glazer Shell. That you can't use um, Cobalt Trick on a Glazer Shell right. building. Right, right. And that was a pretty good nerf. Props yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah, and... but I, I recall that Nasty Surprise would do <clears throat> basically infinite damage, just however much health your unit had. And then they capped it. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not sure if this damage cap was um, too high. You think the damage I cap might, they... might still be too high? It's... It's still too high, I believe. So oh, I'm not. I'm not sure if it's still too high playing against uh, Lost Souls, but I mean, obviously, I'm always. I'm always happy if it goes lower. I mean, the problem which I really saw with with this was never really used. So, but when you play versus a really good um, Shadow Frost player, some people like Hero, and if you play versus Hero and he has a reaver on your base. Once your well is under 1,000 health, it's down. Yep. So if, if you really um, had to deal with those problems, you'll maybe agree with me that, that the damage cap is too high. And that's coming from a Shadow Nature player. And I play really many, I play every game with 20 nasties. No, oh, maybe really? Not, how, does, <laughs> how does Shadow Nature good with nasties? Because... I feel like their units don't tend to have a lot of health. Uh, Ghost Spear's nasty. It's oh really? Very powerful. That's that's interesting. Yeah. But yeah, I could I could see that. Yeah. Or Burrower nasty. Ghost Spear has. I guess Ghost Spears have a little more no, health. No, Burrower's not. Yeah, Burrow has eight hundred and forty, and Ghost Spears have nine hundred ninety. So. Burrow has nine hundred. Oh no, nine hundred. Sorry. Yeah. Is, but is I ninety health difference? You know? <laughs> what? And, yeah, people don't expect. Um, when I play Ghost Spears, that's a unit that people don't expect to to really be nastied. So right. that's a bit of a surprise. And even though if they lose their health, the colors where I, I mostly use uh, nasty or uh, Ghost Spears nasty, um, the Ghost Spears on themselves are a very strong unit. So. Right. No, that's a good idea. Notice the characteristic split attack so that he can't heal both of them. Yeah, and Boss Modos does a big mistake because he always frenzies his night crawlers. Mm. Yeah, and then he can root it here. Yeah, but he killed uh, one Burrow, so that one was worth it. But um, he and just he is so. He really wants it down, my, my Burrow, so. It's not. Even though the wick, the well would have got um, would have dropped, he he would have gotten units for a counter attack, uh -huh. and so I don't always recommend using defensive night crawlers with frenzy. So yeah, um, yeah. All right, so that's the game. Uh, very well played example of how to play Fire Nature. Uh, thank you for your demonstration, Yaro. Thank you yeah, guys for watching. I don't think that it was what? too amazing, but it's, I don't it's think it was solid. too amazing. But it's very, very solid play. I think like if somebody wants to learn how to play Fire Nature, like here's a nine-minute video that will explain <laughs> how to play Fire Nature. Just like this is how you play. Yeah, I have a little fun fact for you. Go for it. <laughs> because I said I said that Fire Nature is one of the strongest decks and one of the easiest to play, and 
I feel like people don't realize how strong Fire Nature is. I played Shadow Nature for like the whole Battleforge time without AMI Phantom, okay, without AMI Phantom. Right. And I never got beyond Emperor, no matter how many games I played. Okay. Emperor was the highest thing I could reach. And once I switched to Fire Nature, two days later, I got to the next rank. I don't know what it's called, but I suddenly gained like 4,000 ELO in two or three days. Solid. So Fire Nature is extremely powerful if you play it very aggressively. Don't play defensive Fire Nature. Don't be that guy. Play very <laughs> please, offensively. Please, please don't be that guy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for watching.